Okay, so The Sims team is about to release a brand new mobile game. It's called The Sims Labs Town Stories, and an eight minute gameplay video just dropped. Plus there's a couple of articles I'd love to go over and to kind of just gauge if this game is going to be worth our time or if it's just going to be a serious wallet sink and uh, really not worth downloading. So I figured we'd watch the gameplay, we'd read a couple of the key parts of these articles and, and just try to determine is this another Sims free play slash uh, Sims mobile experience with a lot of microtransactions. I think one of the worst offenders in Sims mobile experiences is Sims Build It, which is like the Sim City uh, mobile game. It is very pay to win and, and not extremely fun if you're trying to be a free to play player. So I thought, hey, let's watch this video, read some of the articles, and see what it's about. The first thing I wanted to do was show you guys this web page, though, because this is the Google Play Store. Now, this is only available in select territories right now. That's why there's only a thousand downloads. But I thought we could look at the screenshots and see what they're trying to present this game as, at least on the App Store. So we can see here the Sims Labs Town Stories. This first slide says, build your dream town. So already, the little bit I know about this game, it's giving me kind of like Animal Crossing Island vibes, where you move somewhere, you need to accept new villagers in, and maybe there's like a handful of villagers that already live in this city with you, and you're trying to build out your dream town with your dream residence and, and all of that kind of stuff. You can choose your own character, which I heard customization is coming. So if you want to build your own sim, you can do that. But otherwise, they have these pre-built sims that you can choose from. And then unlock blueprints and craft decor items. So as you can see, there's like a lot of random currencies in this game or items you need to collect to kind of build the crafting recipes or blueprints for items you might want in game. Like as you can see, this bamboo yoga mat needs... 10 of whatever this is, and 10 basketballs. So there's going to be a lot of grinding most likely in this. Uh, decorate your perfect home. Um, you know, that's been pretty much in every Sims game from the Sims Free Play to the Sims Mobile. Manage your community. So it looks like you can build relationships. There are these three energy types down here that I'm going to kind of get into when we start breaking down the video, but that's the Google Play Store page. Uh, it was updated September 30th. The game's been out for a few days. People have been playing it and posting gameplay. And I want to give credit to the Sims community because we're going to be reading parts of their article here. But they also were the ones that posted this video that we're going to watch. But let's just get into the video. Uh, I, I, my expectations are a little bit low, but I, I have hope because I love mobile games, even if they're a little pay to win, as long as they're fun at the core and I can enjoy the time I spend on them, even if I spend a little bit of money, it just needs to be worth it, and not just for like a little cosmetic here and there. So let's see. The Sims Labs Town Stories. Oh boy. Okay, so the first thing we meet here is this character creation screen. As you can see, there's this pink banner that says full sim customization coming soon. There's two currencies, one that's cash, one that's coins. Obviously, this coin one is going to be free to play. You're going to be earning these most likely. You'll probably earn a little bit of cash, but it's going to be at a smaller increment and it's probably going to be something you can buy in the shop. But they have pronouns and they have naming your sim, so some level of customization already. The art style is interesting. It's, it's not quite charming like Animal Crossing. I think it's, it's hard for me to describe. But once we kind of get more into the city, I'll try to explain myself a little bit more. But as you can see, this is a story game. So there's a little bit of story elements told through, you know, comic books like sketches here that kind of set up your overall journey or adventure. It's a little light, in my opinion, for a story game. When I heard The Sims was making a story mobile game, I instantly thought about episodes, that mobile game that allows you to make decisions and it affects the story's outcome and there's all these branching trees of dialogue like and really good cutscenes like I, I mean I don't I don't know if I should say really good but like more immersive than this. So I was hoping that a game like this would have cinematic cutscenes, not necessarily cinematic in the sense of like AAA, but at least decent, you know, scripted cutscenes. Um, with like more robust dialogue and maybe a couple options for us players to kind of decide how we engage with our Sims townies. Uh, so I'm a little disappointed already that this is a story game, but the story seems very, very light and far and few in between. But let, let's keep going. 
So here's what I'm kind of talking about. The art style, it's hard for me to describe because I'm not an artist and it, it's, it looks nice for what it is, but the style flirts in between two styles that just don't feel like they go together in my opinion. Like it's not soft and cute like a Harvest Moon or an Animal Crossing or some type of Nintendo IP because it has like harder lines. Like Bella's hair and her face, they just have these hard lines and it also feels really, really toned down for really low end mobile devices, which that's okay. Like I would love for everyone to be able to play this, but it just feels like not up to par with 2024. Like Sims Free Play, in my opinion, which is a pretty old game, looked a little bit better than this. And the Sims Mobile looks a lot better. Obviously, I'm not saying the art's bad. It's just the direction is, I don't know, a little confusing for me. So it looks like Bella lives here. It looks like she's probably going to be one of the first people that live in your town. And you have to work with her probably to get other villagers to move in. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of empty plots around this world. So basically, you're going to select one for yourself, where you want to live. You get to choose between two, which isn't crazy. You get to confirm your house's layout um, and kind of have a little bit of customization here. I'm guessing you're going to spend most of your 5,000 coins laying your house out. You get to pick like a basic paint color, basic furniture set, and then you get to move in. And I'm guessing this is going to work with all villagers when you move someone new in. I, I'm saying villagers, townies. So basically when you move someone new in, it'll be like Animal Crossing. You kind of set up their house, they move in, and now you have a new villager living there. Um, but as you can see, there's no real dialogue options here. Like let's rewind this like a, a, a split second. So basically I'm restoring the goth manor, but need some spooky essence to start with. Could you bring me some? It's just like, oh, essence, what is that? I have no idea. I need a tutorial or of course, where from, which I'm not saying I would want an option to be like, no, and then like totally stop the game here. But I'm hoping that if there is dialogue options like this, it actually creates branching storytelling, you know, like a branching narrative with multiple outcomes. Okay. So this is a huge resource gathering game from the, the screenshots and some video clips I've seen. Um, and you have these three energy types. I'm just going to call this like, knowledge, love, and fitness, because I don't know what they are, but there's different activities that you can perform around the world that require these three energy types. So let's just kind of watch this play out and I'll like kind of point to what I see. But okay, they have a quest to gather 10 essences. So as you could see, he had to, I'm gonna to try to pause this here. It's, it all happened so fast. It's just somebody playing the game. So twist its tongue. This is going to cost him five of his fitness energy, and he earns ten of these essences. Now, this is like a super common theme throughout this game. These three energies come into play for anything you interact with. It burns one of these three energies at different quantities, and then you earn a random material. Like, you'll see as we progress through this video, there's a lot of random materials to collect, which for me is a little overwhelming. I prefer just like having these two currencies and kind of understanding, okay, I need more gold to continue to progress, but I get why they're doing this. It probably allows you to focus on specific resources for longer periods of time to accomplish, you know, more specific tasks. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there's a rhyme and reason, but I, I just think it's overwhelming. Like I think Dreamlight Valley kind of does this where there's just so much to collect and gather. And that can be fun. Like I found that fun in Dreamlight Valley, you know, kind of managing my time and deciding what I should be doing, but it doesn't quite feel like it's going to be that deep in this game. Okay. So now he's going to go return these to Bella Goth and the characters when in the world, they just don't look great. And this could be this person's settings. So maybe their settings are on like low graphics, but it looks like a low graphic setting, which I get. It's a mobile game, but there's some pretty beautiful mobile games nowadays, and I know those are leaning more top-end, high-end device, and I understand Sims wants to be able to be played by anybody and, and, and accessible to anybody, but I hope this is like a low-end setting because it just doesn't look great for like a high-end device. I would love the option to make this look a little bit crisper and more polished. I like vibrant colors on my cell phone screens or on my tablets, especially imagine this blown up on a, a tablet like an iPad Pro. It's gonna look pretty bad. <laughs> And I hope there's, there's graphic settings that improve this overall. 
but let's let's keep watching. So they're just having what is like basic dialogue that I would probably be skipping and not reading. It doesn't seem compelling to tell this really deep story for a story game. Like the episode games are good in the sense that they immerse you in whatever story you're playing and you feel a little bit attached to the characters. I don't think this is going to enrich my feelings of Bella Goth or any of the townies we interact with and deepen my connection with them, which is sad because that's what a story game should do. Like you have all these iconic characters in the Sims series from Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4 that you could really deepen their overall story and players' overall attachment to these characters. And you could dive into the lore and really let players explore who these characters are through this dialogue because in the Sims... There's no real dialogue. They're simlish, and there, there's hardly any dialogue text bubbles or pop-ups. So it's like this would have been the opportunity to really deepen the connection with these characters. And I just feel like from what I've seen so far, it's like an opportunity missed. Oh, hey, there we go. There was the settings. Let me see. Is this the only settings menu? Oh, it is. Okay, so this is not a low graphics setting. That's a little disappointing because <laughs> it's music, sound effects, and notifications. So no no graphic fidelity setting. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's keep playing though. They leveled up, got to level two. Like typical mobile games, you're unlocking new features because this is technically a new player experience. It's a tutorial right now. You're gonna unlock feature by feature probably over the first five or so levels and then far and few in between that. Um, they earned some rewards. They got a little bit of each of the three energy types, some coins and some cash. And cash is being earned at about a 10% rate to coins. Um, max energy was increased so they can have plus five of this fitness energy now. Okay, and then they unlocked a new episode, The Blockhead Returns. Okay, so there's episodes. I'm getting a little, I'm, I'm a little bit more optimistic here. Use energy to interact with the world and gather essence. So this is your energy. And doing things like this will gather these essences. Like this is books, music, and basketball, like sports. Um, use essence to craft items and complete quests. Sims are going to want some of these essences for their needs. And then you can also get blueprints and craft unique stuff. Earn rewards that will help you decorate and expand the town. Okay, let's see. This is giving my Sims a little bit. Your whims or actions. Okay, they're skipping all the dialogue, so can't really read it. But I think these are whims. And that's what it was just educating, doing this will earn you essence, but it'll also will cost you these energy. So you can see now they have a capacity of 55, 50, 50. They let them have more than the capacity. So I think you can store more than the capacity, but if you're offline and say you have below 55, it'll only gather to 55. So that's like an appointment mechanic. Keep coming back to spend your energy as soon as it's full. Interesting. Okay, so now they wanna go decorate the Sims house. Check out these exciting careers. Okay, so there's five careers. It looks like actor, chef, scientist, musician, and detective, maybe. Um, so step into the limelight and become a master of transformation. From dramatic monologues to comic, uh, comedic antics, every performance is an adventure in storytelling. So they just chose to become an actor. Their level one, uh, Finley McGall, has joined their dream job. Okay. So they're an actor. It looks like... I, I wanted to see this. Maybe we'll see it. I'll let, let's have these tiles pop up first. Okay. Clock in each day and use your things and essences to complete tasks for simoleons. Complete all tasks in the workday to earn awesome rewards. Completing all tasks will get you promoted with a sweet simoleon raise. Okay. So work on new material. It costs that to do that. Okay. So let, let's just see. Let's see this big screen. That's what I'm... Okay, so these are their tasks, maybe. If they were to tap these, it would give some type of info on what they need to get 60 simoleons and 12 XP. So if you do your daily work tasks, it looks like they refresh in about two hours for this person, you'll probably earn these additional rewards and then this crate, which that's probably like got furniture items or decor items in it, and it's probably like a loot crate with some RNG baked in. They're level one. I wonder how many levels there are in the career. If there's only 10, I guess we'll, we'll see. I mean, we won't see in this video most likely, but... Okay, so total home income, 100. Okay, so there's home income per plot? But we just kind of saw the city. As you can see, it's basically empty. This is your house. Bella's house was up there. These are all empty plots. It looks like they can be community or housing. So not necessarily... Oh, and look. 
The plots have different pricing. Some were simoleon coins and some were these cash dollar symbols. So like this one is cash, cash, and it's by like the river, so maybe it's like a premium location. Some of this is in the fog still. And then there's a whole second island that's in the fog. And then like, so it's not too big of a world. I would assume it's going to be like 16 or so plots and maybe it'll expand over time. But there's a couple more cash lots, uh, a coin lot, okay. And the goth residence, which is stacked. Then they have like the city center, which has three public buildings. I bet this is going to be associated with your jobs. It looks like an old Western town though. Cause there's like hay bales and this looks like a saloon and some type of stable. I don't know. It, it, it's hard to tell. We'll see if they zoom in eventually. Oh, as they zoomed in, it looks like they're, they can tap and spawn their character. And now their character is just over here. Nancy Landgrab is over here. I wonder if these are villagers that are just exploring your town and you need to build a friendship with them to have them move in. Like, like, you know, Hello Kitty, um, Island Adventure and Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp. I think it's going to have a very similar game loop where you're befriending these villagers, maybe doing some quests for them to build your friendship level with them. And then you can ask them to move in. So you can potentially have different story outcomes than other users if you get different sims than other users to move in i don't know we'll see I, I i hope it has that kind of depth where everyone's experience can be a little different um so the goth house looks really nice i like the furniture the decor it feels homey it's a little weird to move around you just kind of tap and your sim spawns there so they went to tell a joke is their sim going to walk up to this sim or did they not select to tell a joke no. But I, I do like the interior of the house. It looks nice. Is there Sim walking all the way around the house to tell a joke? Okay, so the Sim did walk through the house to tell the joke. And telling a joke, I think, does cost some of this energy. Or no, it didn't. It didn't. So engaging with these Sims doesn't cost the energy. There's probably certain uh, interactions you can do, though, that do cost some of the energy. Okay, go decorate your Sim's house. So that's one of their goals right now. Oh my gosh, this stressor's 4,000 coins. Okay, so they have this bat out. Let's see what they can do with it. Okay, so there's a few color swatches, but it looks like they cost this unique essence that this player probably doesn't have any of, so they can't really do anything to change the color of the bed. I don't like the starter house that they kind of chose with like these textures. It just feels so empty and sad. And I get that, like that's the point. You need to like decorate your home. Um, okay, so 130 coins, they can check out, they can cancel the purchase. And as soon as you zoom out, you kind of get this city view. I'm curious, I wanna see how they spend this energy and what they're earning because they have this backpack, which I'm guessing stores all these different essences and things you're collecting. Oh, okay, you could just randomly change your sim. It looks like at any time. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So they're changing Finley's appearance completely. You can do that whenever you want. That's nice. So going to work doesn't seem like you actually go to work. You just do tasks that would improve your career. Oh no, you can upgrade the backpack for more storage. Oh no, resource management, <laughs> resource management. Okay, let's see, now they're in their house. Okay, here we go. Let me see that. So they click this bed Okay, so there's a few options. Take a nap. It's five of your, let's say, knowledge energy. Snuggle up in bed is 15 of your romance energy. And enjoy some deep sleep is 10 of your fitness energy. They earn different amounts of this essence, which this essence is a cup of espresso or coffee. Uh, so four to six, 12 to 18, eight to 12. So I guess... That's nice that you have three energy types so you don't just run out of one energy. I know previous Sims games had like this energy mechanic. Having three different types is nice, but it's weird that they earn you the same thing. Like just this coffee. Cause like, I guess I could do this interaction three times if I really wanted and stack a ton of coffee essence. But okay, so they're gonna go get some sleep. It was one of their whims too. The sleeping animation is not it. Their feet are through the bed and their eyes are open. <laughs> That's 
unless they're just laying there thoughtfully. I don't know if that was an option, but still, they're like your feet being through the bed is a little weird. Um. Okay, so there we go. Now in two minutes, they get another whim. Then brush their teeth or wash their hands. Let's see. So stock with a sweet treat. Okay, so everything's earning you a different essence. Like I think they were getting lemons over there, and now they're getting cupcakes, and they were getting coffee. So there's a lot of stuff to collect. I wonder if every appliance slash interaction has a different essence. Because like, this is where it gets overwhelming if there's like just 50 different essences and you're just always doing different things and trying to figure out how to collect these essences. I'm guessing there's a lot because they can store 200 different slots in their backpack. So get ready to be grinding and harvesting a bunch of different essences, I guess. Uh, now, okay, so this has shoes. And it's for sorting through your wardrobe, reorganizing the shoes, pick out some favorite clothes. Okay. Gives you a different essence. You're stockpiling this up. I want to see their backpack next time it loads when they finish this task. I hope they go click their backpack because I'm, I'm kind of curious about something. But I don't know if they will. Because I'm curious if like those 200 slots are 200 unique items that can be held or 200 total essences. Because if it's 200 essences, oh my gosh, you're going to fill that up fast and you're going to have to be spending these and really thinking of how to burn them or you're going to have to buy the upgraded backpack. But if it's 200 slots, that means there's so many different essence types and you're just going to be like grinding all over the place. Oh gosh. Okay, so well, that's the end of, of the video. I guess, I don't know. I, I mean, build your dream town, uncover the stories of the residents, play out the stories of your community. Um, the Sims Town Stories features discover and collect resources that enable your character to fulfill quests, customize your dream home inside and out by choosing from a large selection of decorations or crafting items, choose your Sim, guide their journey as they explore the new town and build relationships, progress your character's careers to help them achieve their lifelong goals, collect and create, discover um, inspirational essences and uh, parts to help complete quests and crafting unique items. So, I don't know. There's not enough here to get me super excited. We have some new things, manage your community, decorate your perfect home, unlock blueprints. I think we looked at these already. I will definitely try this game. I think it's definitely gonna be worth a download. You know, I'm a Sims fan, I love everything Sims, but I'm not 100% sure it's gonna be something that keeps me in the loop. Like if they have a bunch of seasonal events and things like that, which it looks like in this screenshot they're going to, because you have your two currencies here and then you have whatever this wooden llama is. So it's like maybe this is a seasonal event currency. So they're going to have their seasonal events. Hopefully they're going to have a lot of live ops into this game. So hopefully if there is enough friendly content for free to play players, this could be something that's fun. But really it, it feels like it lands somewhere in between the Sims free play and the Sims mobile for me. And I had fun with both of those games. But after I put in you know, a couple dozen hours into each of them. I just, I bounced out and, and didn't play anymore, uh, especially with The Sims Mobile. Like The Sims Free to Play, I put a little bit more money into that game. I think I spent a thousand dollars on The Sims Free Play, which is insane looking back. But I was a YouTuber, I did a series on it. You know, that's my excuse. But The Sims Mobile, I didn't want to spend any money really. And I just couldn't even play the game past a couple of days to where it was just, oh, come back in two hours, come back in four hours, come back. It was just like this constant, like, I got to set reminders on my phone so I can grind my Sims mobile game. And it looks like this is taking the exact blueprint from those and not really trying anything new here. So I don't know. Let's see. Right now, 27 people said this is amazing. 33 said quack. 77 said LOL in a box. And 78 said boom, which I assume means blow it up. Right now, I'm in a quack mood. I don't think this is an LOL or boom yet, like willing to download and explore, but I'm, I'm very skeptical. I, I don't know if this is gonna be a good game or a game that most people wanna engage with. I feel like this is definitely something casual. You can play on the commute, uh, sitting on your lunch break, sitting on the toilet for a few minutes, but unless you're willing to spend a few hundred dollars, it's probably not gonna be something you get a lot of fulfillment and enrichment from. And even if you spend those few hundred dollars and you load up your town to the gills with all the best of everything, what do you really have? It doesn't feel like there's gonna be a lot of depth to this overall. So yeah, they'll release new furniture every once in a while, new things to grind for. I mean, we'll see. I don't wanna to be too negative, but I, I wish I wish for more with a Sim story game. I just, there's so much more you could do and it feels like they just copy and pasted the, the playbook here 
and it, it's nothing too exciting. And the art style feels like a small downgrade from The Sims Mobile. It is its own style. It's its own unique thing. It's just doesn't, it's not exactly for me. Um, the Sims Mobile style was definitely much more for me uh, as a player. The Sims Free Play was definitely not as much aesthetically pleasing. So, I don't know. It lives somewhere between Sims Free Play and Sims Mobile for me, but has the exact mechanics, it feels like, from both of those experiences that I really didn't enjoy and ultimately caused me to stop playing. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit the like button if you guys want more daily Sims videos. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.